The black moon Lilith in our birth chart represents the qualities that we feel the most ashamed of. And at the same time, these same qualities are some of our greatest gifts and talents. But that is primarily indicated by the sign that your Lilith is in. Not only do you have a sign that your Lilith is in, but you also have a house. And this indicates where this shame is going to show up for you the most. So in this video, I'm going to cover everything that you need to know about having your Black Moon Lilith in your fourth house of family and home. Hello and welcome back to the Be The Hero channel. My name is Isabel and I help you understand who you are using personality typing and astrology. I was the person who often felt confused and lost on their direction in life because I lacked a sense of self and I was unaware of what my desires were. Then I discovered the Enneagram, the Myers-Briggs, astrology, and so much more. And for the first time, I had an idea of what my direction could be and who I could be truly. So now I hope you understand these things too, so that you can understand them and understand yourself as well. Now, before I dive into the Black Moon Lilith in the fourth house, hit the link in the description below to get your very own My Horoscope Made Me Do It hoodie available in the link in the description below. These are the comfiest hoodies I've ever worn. Seriously. So get yours now so that you and I can be matching. Uh, the Black Moon Lilith is oftentimes a complicated aspect to get into when we're learning about astrology because there's also sometimes referred to as Lilith. Is it is Lilith the same thing? Is Black Moon Lilith different? Are they completely the same thing? I don't know. The short answer is you are looking at the right video because the Black Moon Lilith is a very popular aspect in our birth chart usually represented by a black moon with what looks like a cross underneath it. In our birth chart, the black moon Lilith represents our traits and qualities that we feel the most ashamed of. Some background on Lilith is Lilith, as far as I understand, is was the first wife of Adam, and she was a very powerful woman who was very independent, but she wasn't necessarily the most cooperative and uh, passive for Adam. And so what they did was they got rid of her and replaced her with Eve, who was much more passive and easy to get along with. So Lilith represents these powerful, powerful qualities within ourselves that are some of our greatest powers, but at the same time, we feel that we are not allowed to embrace them because they could lead to our abandonment. However, these traits and qualities that we feel the most ashamed of and feel like we're not allowed to embrace are all dictated by the sign that our Lilith is in. Now, not only do we have a sign our Lilith is in, but we also have a house it's in. So what is the difference between a sign and a house? The sign that any planet or placement is in, in your birth chart, more shows the energy that that planet is going to embrace. So each planet governs different areas of our being, and the zodiac sign gives it the vibe or the theme. And then the house represents what area of your life in the tangible material reality it's going to show up in most. So in astrology, there are 12 houses, which represent the 12 different areas of our lives. The fourth house has all to do with home and family. And one thing that helped me kind of understand what the fourth house was about is that each zodiac sign uh, or each house reflects a zodiac sign. So first house is like Aries, second house is like Taurus, third house Gemini, and fourth house is like Cancer. Cancer is the archetype of the mother. They are known for their nurturing and caring nature. And so the fourth house is all about that tangible material reality of the home and family. Whenever we have a planet or point in our fourth house, we become very family oriented. We can have a lot of focus on our home life, both our childhood home life and building a home, uh, building a family. And it can also be somewhere where we have to do some healing with our ancestry or with our uh, roots. So what does it mean to have your Black Moon Lilith in your fourth house? Regardless of the sign it's in, the sign that your Lilith is in is going to show you what energies you feel ashamed of. And whatever energy that is, you most feel ashamed of embracing this in your home life if you have a Lilith in fourth house. So as an example, if you had a Lilith in Leo, in your fourth house, you feel ashamed of wanting to be confident and bold in your family. 
You could go through the same system for each zodiac sign. I have a whole series covering Lilith through the signs on our channel, so you can check that out later. But people who have a Lilith in their fourth house feel a lot of shame around their home. In early childhood especially, these people felt that they were rejected by their family in some way that they disappointed their mother or disappointed their father or disappointed their siblings or disappointed the family at large. And now they feel that they cannot quite want a sense of home. They're not allowed to want to feel that they have a home in a tribe and they're supposed to just stay away from that at all costs. So now these are people who avoid allowing themselves to feel comforted at times or feeling like they are accepted within a tribe or a home. They can isolate themselves from their tribe, isolate themselves from their family because they are afraid of being rejected again. The thing is, the Black Moon Lilith is not just some of our greatest, uh, sh uh, the place of greatest shame, but it's also our greatest talents and gifts. So people who have a Black Moon Lilith have a gift truly for making people feel a sense of home. They also have the ability to create and cultivate a sense of home more than other people to some degree. So if you have a maybe Lilith in Cancer in your fourth house, you can make people feel more at home and build a home that feels more nurturing than anyone else. But the problem is in early childhood, the Lilith in Leo was taught that wanting nurturing and wanting a home is a bad thing. It's also possible that people who have a Lilith in fourth, fourth house were literally rejected from their homes. It could be possible that people who have a Lilith and Leo all, or Lilith in their fourth house also just experienced a metaphorical rejection from their home. It's possible that someone who felt like home made them feel like they uh, were rejected from them. And so now they are afraid of entering the arena of home in all facets of their life. People who have a fourth house Leo or Lilith, fourth house Lilith, could also be people who have to do a lot of work with their ancestors or past lineage or ancient relatives in the sense that they might, it might not be their immediate family that has made them feel rejected, but they might have troubles with their extended family and past relatives that are now affecting their lives now and making them feel that they are not allowed to want a sense of home. And as a general rule, it's uh, the fourth house is about the literal home but whatever sign the fourth house is in shows us what makes us feel that sense of home. And so whatever sign your fourth house Lilith is in, whether that's Aries, Taurus, Gemini, that's gonna show you what you expect from your home, what you are seeking from your home. And you feel that you are not allowed to embrace that and you could potentially try to embrace that feeling of home through another zodiac sign by taking on a more authoritarian or passive role that is out of alignment with what you truly want. So maybe you're watching this video and thinking, got it, that totally sounds like me, now what do I do? The first and foremost thing that I recommend anyone does who is struggling to heal their Lilith is think back to childhood and reflect on when that moment was in childhood that you felt you were rejected from your family. When was it you felt like you could not be the person or the zodiac sign that you wanted to embrace in your family life? How did that make you feel? What was the response? And what does your inner child, that childhood version of yourself, need to hear? Imagine yourself now going back to that childhood self and telling them it's okay to be this way. Secondly, anyone who has a fourth house Lilith needs to work on cultivating their sense of home. Home can be by blood but it can also be a tribe that you create for yourself that makes you feel supported to be the person you want to be, a safe place, so to say. So look at the sign that your fourth house Lilith is in and think to yourself, what group of people are gonna make me feel safest to embrace this energy? Surround yourself with those people who allow you to embrace that zodiac sign that your fourth house Lilith is in. And you might, Either this could be two approaches for the fourth house Lilith. They either need to insert themselves in a, a family or home of sorts, or they need to create that family for themselves, drawing the people in and being the center of that home. You're someone in general who wants to make people feel at home. You want people to feel safe, that you want them to feel like they have a tribe. And so when you work on healing this part of yourself that feels unaccepted for in their home life, uh, you can cultivate a family that makes other people feel accepted, and this can be healing for you as well. Again, 
looking at the sign that your fourth house Lilith is in is going to give you all the key factors into exactly what you're supposed to be doing. And finally, the last thing that a Lilith and fourth house really should do is reflect on their roots, reflect on their ancestry and see if there's anything there that needs to be healed. Trauma or ancestral healing can be a really huge um, theme for these people in the sense that is there a repeating psychological pattern that your family has been repeating? Do you have a series of abandonment wounds that have just traveled down the line? Do you have manipulation tactics that have been going down the line? Healing these parts of yourself and healing this, uh, these roots is going to be extremely important for these people. And again, focusing on just embracing the zodiac sign and in a sense of home is going to be important for these people. It's quite possible too that people who have a Lilith in fourth house might need to have a healing conversation with family members saying, this is how you made me feel. And they might not get the response that they want. That is one thing that we can never expect from family is to give them the response we need to heal emotionally. We have to give that to ourselves, which is why I recommend so much at the beginning, like I said, that fourth house Liliths go to that childhood version of themselves and tell themselves it's okay to be yourself. And again, surround yourself with people who feel like home and allow you to embrace the zodiac sign that your Lilith fourth house is in. If this video helped you understand what it means to have your Lilith in your fourth house, let me know in those comments below and let me know what sign is your fourth house Lilith in. Then I can give you a bit of an, a small interpretation on what that means and how you can best heal your Lilith. While you're down there, be sure to grab the free birth chart workbook if you have not grabbed it yet, where I walk you through understanding the basics of your chart using journal prompts that I've personally used that have helped me live in alignment with my soul's unique energetic imprint. Link is in the description below for the free birth chart workbook, grab it now. While you're down there, if you love astrology and workbooks and courses, you need to get the Making Mindfulness Fun Bundle in the link in the description below where I'm offering all 30 of our workbooks and courses on astrology, Enneagram, mindfulness, and more for only $30. That's an insane deal, I know. So grab the Making Mindfulness Fun Bundle now to get access to all 30 of our workbooks and courses, and you get exclusive access to any new workbooks and courses that are released because they are only accessible through this bundle. So grab it now. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Sincerely hope you enjoyed it. Be sure to check out the rest of the series on Lilith Through the Signs if you have not yet watched it. And be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and stay tuned for more videos breaking down astrology. Once again, my name's Isabel and from my heart to yours, namaste.